Okay, here we are. Supplies for the compost. Going in the bin itself and some eggshells. I got to crush up. Spread around the garden. Actually, I got to grind those, but. Here's a uh, guard for the probe for a compost thermometer, which I'm going to open and I'm going to go check the pile, see if we're doing things right. Okay, here we are, compost thermometer, and I got the uh, 24 incher, extra thick, and here's the head. Shows me what I need to be. Uh, I need to be, the best zone is uh, 100 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna go out and check that out right away. And the other thing is this, uh, is a guard it goes on, screws on to the uh, probe. And the idea here is, see, very solid. And it should, probe should go through the hole there. Try not to poke myself in the ear. And the screw goes in there. Uh oh, other way. There we go. Screw it in. And uh, that, I'll tighten it in the garage, but uh, so, when I'm putting it in and out of the pile, I can do it on here and not break off the head. Let's go give it a try. Okay, here we are at the compost heap. And uh, what I built is a three bin system. And uh, the biggest bin is down at the end. That's the initial bin. And then I'm going to turn it eventually, put it in the central bin, which is about four and a half by five feet. And then turn it again, or this one's about four and a half feet by three feet, three and a half feet. There's the uh, kitchen scraps, ready to go. They're gonna go into this one. Here's my original bin. There's a mixture of uh, kitchen scraps, some uh, charcoal I threw in, twigs and uh, uh, spent uh, old grass and uh, carbon material and uh, today I've got uh, for carbon I've got a uh, shredded newspaper which I'll add also got a bag of more of this uh, dead grass nice brown and two bags of this luscious lawn mowings look at that stuff Boy, high nitrogen should be great materials. And I'm gonna add, of course, these kitchen straps. Before I do, there's my new thermometer. And uh, let's take let's take this and do a probe. Whoops, I guess. I need to remove a couple slats here so I can reach in. All right, we got to take a couple of slats off. So it's built so that these slats just pop off. I'll stack them over on the side. Let's grab another one. And these are uh, one by sixes. It's all rough cut lumber. I got from a local sawmill. Ah, a little sticky. I'm gonna have to sand them down a bit so they come out easier. There's two, that's plenty. Now I can access into the bin. Okay, let's grab the probe and come into the center of the thing and let's probe it in there and see what we've got. Um, there's a moment of truth going up. There we go. We've hit 80. Oh, no, oh, just about 80. Not quite. Come on. No. Looks like we're stopping at 80. So 
just barely active, barely active. Let's try it. Let's pull it out. Let's try a different spot. Okay. I can press it right here in. Oh, that's, that's into gravel, so I don't want it that far. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's up at 86. Let's try it again over on the side here. Press right down at an angle. But, uh, again, about 86. That's as far as I've got. So, not hot enough. So, basically, I got lots of browns. Um, I don't have enough heat. Just getting going. So, that means add more greens more nitrogen and having a bit of a challenge during the grow season uh, I don't have much in the way of fresh trimmings out the garden but I do have these uh, clippings so I'm gonna have to uh, make more of an effort to go and find more clippings but let's add some and uh, build it up okay here goes first bag going in when I was feeling previously, I tried to spread it out, and uh, unfortunately, as you can see, it's compressed down in the middle and not hot enough. So I'm never able to get this pile to date over two feet. And uh, you can see what I just put in there. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to pile everything right in the middle and try to get more height and uh, more heat. Let's try another bag. Okay, here we go. Bag number two. Whoops. There goes the phone. All right, we're still shooting. And uh, I'm trying to, trying to get these uh, clippings Close to the middle. There we go. All right. That's a good pile. I gotta forget adding any browns. And I got a fork. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna stack it up a little better, right in the middle. Okay, we got a nice pile. Capture a couple of uh, avocado husk. Come on, fall off there. Right here, let's add those in. bucket right on top and we'll, we'll cover them some grass keep the smell down there we go so that's as high as I've had the pile I'm gonna to try to build up in the center because it seems to collapse in the center and uh, actually what I might do is uh, use the fork push some of the stuff from the corners on top as well. well there you go I've cleaned out the corners a little bit shoveled that stuff from the corners up onto the pile and I got a nice high pile now in the middle and it's about four feet so that's the best yet the other thing I noticed is it's very dry so I think I'll go get some water I'll water it down and maybe cover it with some uh, here we got the water. Let's spray it down. Now, I don't really have any manure. Uh, I've got grass clippings, twigs, branches, and shredded uh, paper for browns, and uh, grass clippings and uh, vegetable waste.
also have, so I guess I mentioned also, I got uh, a bunch of sod, old used sod. Somebody was getting rid of my shoe in. I turned it upside down and uh, kind of put it in. It's down about a foot. So, there you go. That's watering. I dug out some uh, some old floor tiles, rubber floor tiles, and I'm gonna put those on top, keep it more moist. All right, here we go. Flop those over there like that, and uh, these will definitely keep the moisture. And the problem is the wind and uh, keeping them in place. We'll just see how that does. Anyway, that's the compost bin for today. I got my slats back in there. Here it is, my old composter, which uh, was too small. It did work, but uh, a bit of a challenge. And here's the new three bin system. I need to get more heat in that first bin and get more material. And then another few weeks, I'll turn it, put it into that second bin, and on we go. Here I am back at the compost, and uh, we've uh, filled it up. I'm continuing to dump stuff in. Let's take a look and see if the temperature's changed at all. Let's put that in there. There we go. A week ago, when we first tested it, the highest I got was 86. And uh, I held it up a bit, uh, raked the edges into the middle, and uh, covered it, and added water. And now we're up to 104, so that's pretty good. Let's try a different spot. And... A little bit cooler. In about 102. So now we're definitely in the active zone, and uh, which is good. And uh, so maybe I'll try to oxygenate this by poking some holes down in it, and uh, see if we can't get it up uh, another 20 degrees. So here's my compost oxygenation tool. Just a sturdy handle, about a two and a half or three foot length, and some pivoting things so I can push it down. And when I pull back, those will open up. Okay, here we go. Push that way in, and pull it back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, look at that. That's nice. Okay. Those things. Let's try again. This spot here. Let's so insert and pull back. Oh yeah, nice. Oh look at that steam. Ooh, a little bit of steam. Try one more here. Oh, that's right down into the gravel. Yeah. Okay, well, that definitely worked, and uh, I'll check again in a couple days, see what the temperature's doing. We were a few days later, and uh, I got a couple more bags of grass clippings, I'm adding in, and stacking stuff up, turning the edges up into the center, and uh, it was sure dry. So I'm giving it a good soak. Yeah, look at those nice grass clippings. I'll give them a good soak too. And pull up a bit more material from the back. Cover it up. And let that cook. And we'll check the temperature maybe later today. Okay, here we are for now. Uh, really dug up the corners. And my pile is way up there. So I'll add some more rhubarb leaves later today. 
Let's see if we can get this really cooking. Now it's a few days later, right in the midst of our heat wave, 7 a.m. in the morning, and I just finished watering the pile. It's pretty high, looking good. So let's check it again and see what we got for temperature. It's up at uh, 100. Still going north to So 112, so it's gone up another six or eight degrees. All right, let's try one more spot. A little more vertical this time. Okay. So let's see. Ooh, 100, uh, 112, 112, yep. That's it. Well, this heap is looking good. I've made some additions and uh, we'll check the temperature here uh, shortly. Okay, let's check. The admin temperature is 75. And let's go in and see what we've got. There we go. Put it, press it in a little bit more. Well, that's about, it's slowing down. It's right around 100, 102. Slightly different position. Right under the peak. Oh, that's nice. It's 110. About 110. 110, 112 a couple of days ago. So I think it's time to publish this uh, on the heap. You know, it started out about 80, low 80s, got up over 100, and to about 114, I think, was the hottest.